Hello, and welcome back to another Earth 2 in the Know weekend update. We've actually not put out a new video in a few days, but that's because we were busy working on the studio. New changes are coming to the E2 ITK channel. As the Earth 2 team gets ready for more developmental releases, we also want to improve our contribution as well. The vision is to host up and coming live events sometime in the future, where the community can be more interactive. Sort of like a podcast, where we can get together, discuss ideas, projects, etc, etc. You know, build the future with one another. All that, though, is for another day. There's plenty to discuss until then. This is R2 in the know, and let's get into it. It's no secret that the Essence token is now live, and available for everyone in the entire world to trade at their own free will. Those buys and sells are clearly reflected inside the game marketplace as the highs of $1.01 for common droids are about 30% less at the time of making this. However, if we look at the floor for side droids, it's actually right on point for the reflected value of Essence inside of the open market. Stating that, we have to admire the consistency that this token has been performing with. The lack of sell-offs, well, it absolutely speaks volumes. Resource droids have also stayed pretty consistent, as we can see with Guillombo, which doesn't seem to stay around for very long at anything under near 5 USD. The Starlight Fury Diamond Prospector has seemed to stall for sales as well, as last week nothing under 10 USD would stick around, and clearly we have three under that price point that have sat for a few days. Droids like Jingo and Goli also seem to be staying consistent for now right around the 2 USD floor, which is very typical for these type of assets. So no big surprises. So if we can say anything, it is that the ecosystem is sustaining well and staying free from outside influences, causing any serious declines or crashes in our market. When it comes to the legendary side droids, we were seeing some movement in the right direction with sales. However, we believe that this was because it was announced that upgrades may come sooner than expected and it caused a surge. Since not yet deployed, sales have stalled, but once upgrades go live, we do expect to see this trend emerge once again. Looking at the jewel market, we're still seeing a lot of resistance to even look at a 9 cent floor, as the 8 cent value is pretty established, and the bears are refusing to give this price point up. We did want to bring up a new trend we're seeing with the tier 3 jewels. Many users who may be wanting to turn their stockpiled jewels into essence have been bombing the market with some great deals, like a few pages of Aqua Marine shown here for just $1 USD, a 33% discount of the average. This user also had a lot of other mixed tier 3s that were at a great value, so, you know. They may be doing this so that they can use that cash to buy essence on the open market, so be on the lookout for these kind of deals and make sure you take advantage of them while you can if you're in the market for mixed T3s. Don't worry, we scooped up a bunch. As we don't just say these things, we incorporate these practices into our daily routines. Let's get into civilians. So we got some bad news for all the geologist enthusiasts. After rallying up to a strong 9 cent floor, the bears have pushed it back down and is now floored once again at 7 cents USD. Will the first female ever get her dues? Come on guys, equal rights, equal rights. Let's raise that price. Is the metaverse a man's world? Well, I think not. We've seen all the skins. They're mostly for women. Boy, oh boy, it just keeps getting worse for the Egyptian god Ether Reckoner which over the last few days has dropped another 20 cents on the floor. Looking at a low of 55 cents USD for a bottom, this asset is now sitting at a third of its all-time high just one month ago. These prices beg us to once again consider the option that people may be rock-bottoming their surplus assets to raise funds for essence while it's cheap, as many have strong conviction it will run like no other in the upcoming bull run. Once again, we would like to remind our viewers that everything you hear with price predictions from the community is speculation until it's not. With trading cryptocurrencies, anything can happen and you should never invest more than you can afford to lose. That said, we are daily cash averaging into more buys so that we as a company can increase our holdings through a more attractive price point than what may be presented in the future. 
not financial advice. And those crazy rebels, well, those rebels are not very good at rebelling against their consistent price point. As we're once again for another update, see them in the mid 20 cent USD range. As much as we would love to see some huge sways in price action, it's more than likely going to stay pretty consistent until the next platform release, or we see an influx of new players due to the interest in the token project. Now that pretty much wraps up what's going on inside of the game's asset marketplace. But let's talk territories. So we actually had a new tier 3 release today, and after seeing the success of the last two in South Korea, well, we wanted to see how this one would stack up. Today we saw Tuna Puna Piarco release in Trinidad and Tobago. We can take a look at the current tier 3 price at the time of production of 0.103 or just over a dime and realize that this opening unfortunately was lackluster in comparison to the last two. Coming up for our next one, we have Skopje in North Macedonia. And let's take a look what it offers as our next tier 3 release. So as you can see, we have some major development going on in this area. And it does offer copious limestone with sparse iron ore and gold. It is the capital city and I believe one of the largest if not the largest cities. So it makes sense that a lot of people are going to build there. Probably a good buy in for a tier 3 if you're looking to enter the market for something affordable. With all the bought land you can see here there is some mega city development on the way. And it might be a good place to grab land for being part of this community in the future. So that about covers the relevant tier 3 releases for this weekend. Should be interesting to see how this next one plays out with all the development already in the area. Before we jump into how Essence is performing this week, we want to go ahead and find our winner for this weekend's giveaway. Someone is taking home their very own 1 of 500 limited edition cosmic release, the Essence Tees. Let's take a look at this week's winner, Robin. These players had great odds this week, as there were only a few comments on the video that you needed to comment on to enter. Last week, Pacey won. This week, Robin won. You can't let all these E2 personalities have all the fun, guys. Get in the comments. Get these easy, limited edition prizes. We love giving them out. You cannot win the contest if you don't enter. That said, it is super easy to enter a contest. All you have to do is watch out for the video of the week. Then we have you like and comment on that video. And now you must be a subscriber to win. But it's just that easy, and the prizes are pretty awesome. Now, before we dive into Essence price action, we do want to throw a shout out to the Earth2 Pirate community for a cool service that their Discord offers. At any given time, you can enter their server and check the gas fees and the active price of Essence. They can tell you how to do just that after you join the server. We're in it, and it's always a great time with really fun people. Just so you have it, we will leave a link to their Discord in the description of this video. Essence, as in our very own decentralized token, has been holding its own since its release to the open market. We have seen a little bit of a sell-off bring in the price a little lower, but as we've talked about in previous videos how the first few weeks to a month, we will see all the people looking for an exit, depleting their assets, and leaving the project. It's all perfectly 100% totally normal. This is actually great news for players who are looking to increase their positions, like ourselves, for a reasonable exchange rate. As of production, Essence is 7 days old with 144,000 in volume over the last 24 hours. There are 1.74 thousand holders and just has over half a million in liquidity. The current market cap is 35.85 million. Essence has had 121 transactions over the last 24 hours with 71 buys and 50 sells. Essence is currently at time of production trading at 0.1154 or between 11 and 12 cents USD. Let's take a quick look at some of those buys and sells over the last 24 hours. We can see a really nice buy for 100,000 Essence. Congrats to that soon to be Essence well if they continue to make buys like that, that is. It's time to take a quick second to thank all of our faithful viewers who come back for almost daily updates all the time. You guys, well, you're the true goats. Greatest of all time, baby! We'd also like to welcome anyone who may have just stumbled upon this video while looking for information about Earth 2. 
If you are new to the channel, we would like to invite you to join us by hitting that subscribe button. Not only do we do nearly daily content, keeping you in the know about Earth 2, but we do weekly giveaways of land and limited edition Earth 2 collectibles. It also helps us fight people smearing the project for easy clicks from coming up first in the algorithm. Before we end this weekend report, we thought we would like to go out on a letter from the editor. Dear Earth 2 community, through the most turbulent of beginnings, you have persevered through the last few years. You have held your head high and served the purpose of creating something amazing inside of Earth 2. Whether you are the founder of a huge mega city with a massive plan of action, or you a person with only a handful of properties, but have never sold one. Your conviction has propelled you to stay with Earth 2 throughout all of the ups and downs, and sometimes well, sometimes things didn't always go your way, but you never wavered. We just wanted to thank you for that. People like you are what make projects like this great. It is because of people like you, there is foundation and solidarity amongst players with similar visions. As we navigate through what is to come next, it is important to realize that there will be many who will try to stand in our way. They will do it through negativity by only talking about the parts of development that may need work. Also, they will try to help us by saying that maybe we don't understand how foolish our investment is. And of course they will tell you that this is going nowhere. How would they see where we are headed? when they never had vision to begin with. As a channel, we make one simple request from our audience and our friends. Meet them with gentle conflict. That is to say, sway them with accurate information, but do not let them play on your emotions. There is so much that we have to look forward to in the future. And if everything plays out as it should, we will be celebrating success and will them They'll be doing the same thing to another opportunity that they missed. If for some reason that they cannot be reasoned with, simply walk away knowing that you can feel good about the contributions you make to both this world and the virtual one that we are about to build together. You and I are the genesis of Earth 2, and we have a responsibility to make it better than the one we currently have been given by our ancestors. With that, we close and wish all of our friends and even our enemies the best of success. Signed TK and Earth 2 in the Know. We would appreciate if you liked and commented on this video, because if you do, your comment could be randomly picked for a free release the ST sometime before the announcement of our official weekly giveaway. That's just the basic one, the fun one, you know. Lots of those were made, but it's free for you. All you have to do is type some words. We bought a bunch of these and we thought it might be fun to sprinkle some freebies on random comments throughout the week. We've had a blast bringing you this information, hopefully with minimal fan noise, but all good things must come to an end. So we must say goodbye for now, but not for long. As always, we cannot wait to see you in the Earth 2 Metaverse, hopefully happy and enabling the success of others. Let's get it.